With Peregrine's waiting, she sent us to get you. Right on time. Miss Peregrine, delighted to meet you. We're what's known as peculiar. For this film, the house is sort of the foundation of the kids' whole world. Peculiars have been persecuted through the ages. Hence, we live in a place like this, a home for peculiar children. The house is very important to the children, and it helps protect them from outside forces. We looked at a lot of houses all over to find the one that felt right. We ended up finding a house in Belgium, which when I saw, you know, walking through the trees, I just thought, wow, you know, this seems like a home for peculiar children. Such an interesting environment. And Tim really made the house a character in the film. Kate, come and play. <laughs> it was a very fair landscape when we saw it for the first time. So anything you see here on the house, any of the greenery we'd put in here, we made the vegetable garden. And we had a conservatory to it. Tim wanted something that looked like a bird cage just to connect to the bird references. I was like, okay, Miss Peregrine could live in this house with this garden, with topiaries. It was very Tim Burton, actually. The house mirrored this whole world. It was true to the spirit of the book. It just felt right for this film.